I think I've been really shocked out of my own life of selfish entitlement with the news that my own brother, um, so I was critically ill himself in, in intensive care, which was a terribly scary time for the whole family, particularly for his nearest and dearest, his children, his fiance, everybody who loves him. And he was looked after in the ICU unit of St Thomas Hospital. He named in particular two intensive care nurses and they were Luis from Porto in Portugal and there was Jenny McGee from New Zealand and I'm very pleased that these two nurses have been so delighted by their name check but not nearly so pleased as we are with the work they did at a very very frightening time for the country for the Prime Minister and for my family so we've got a couple of minutes of Jenny McGee who's actually talking about what it was like having to treat the Prime Minister who's not really the Prime Minister to me he's just my my older brother so here's Jenny McGee um my first reaction was that it was a joke on my, my friends are playing a joke on me I I wasn't expecting it it was totally out of the blue um and it was just shock just I, I couldn't believe that what he what he'd said on TV. When or how did you find out? Um, I was getting ready, ready for night shift, and um, I was just doing my usual routine for night shift. And someone texted me just the part that said um, Jenny from New Zealand, and I was like, "Wow, I, I think that's me." Yeah. In ICU, when did you realise it was Boris Johnson? Um, I had a fair idea that I was going to be coming in to look after him. Um, and um, I think it was very obvious that the media knew very quickly that he was in intensive care at St Thomas's. so um, I, I, I had a fair idea that I was going to be looking after him. Um, I think there was, a, there was a lot of media interest about him being in hospital and to be honest that's probably was the toughest thing of a lot. Um, as a unit, um, he um, was just another patient that we were trying to do that our best for, so um, it was business as usual. I hear you say he was just another patient. Surely you must have been a little bit more nervous. Um, to be completely honest with you, I've worked in intensive care for 10 years. I'm a sister. I've been in charge for five years. I've been in really stressful situations, and I was not saved by this. This was just another day at the office. So you weren't even a little bit nervous? No, I honestly don't think I was. It, I, when I got in the car after work each night, and I could hear... Um, things about Boris Johnson on the news that was very surreal because I thought wow you know I've just been looking after him but I really wasn't phased by looking after Boris Johnson. Jenny McGee was speaking to reporters from TV NZ and actually that was the first time I've heard her voice and I've read the transcript of what she said and it makes me think lots of things how lucky we are in our frontline staff, how lucky we are in our immigrant workforce, how lucky we are in the quality and dedication of all the people who work in the NHS, which is why, of course, we do our clap on Thursday night. And a couple of things she says, I think, really ring true and resonate and make me feel, uh, I don't want to get emotional, but I think the important thing Jenny said there was that, and I think that Luis, the nurse from Portugal also said it, when you have a patient under your treatment, it doesn't matter who they are. No life is more important or less important than any other life. All lives are equally important. And I think that was the message that I take away from what the psychiatrist told me. He's in the shielded group, but it's incredibly important that we take up, that we, we all sacrifice our time to save their lives just another patient jenny i mean i'm so i'm so pleased and i'm i would like to thank you personally but i can't so just accept my thanks from the entire johnson family and to luis and to everybody in the icu at st thomas's for everything you did to keep my brother safe thank you very much indeed